What's up, BeatStars family? It's Jamil. Welcome to another episode of the 2020 Pro Page course. Today, we'll be talking about making customizations on your Pro Page. In this video, you'll learn how to use the customized drop down menu, how to select a theme for your Pro Page, and how to choose or create your own custom template and set your website logo. Okay, let's get started. Your first step to begin making customizations is to visit your pro page and log in. Now, to begin making customizations, you can either click on the individual section you want to edit or click the yellow customize button to bring up the drop down menu. From here, you can begin customizing any section you'd like. All you need to do is click on the section and all of the different options will appear for you to change. Something important to know about this is that anytime you make a change, they won't reflect the visitors of your site until you hit the publish button. So you can feel free to test things out to see how they look on your end. And if they don't work, there's no need to worry about your customers seeing them. So now that we know how to customize, we can start getting into different sections. The first section I want to point out is themes. You have the option to choose from either the block or round theme. These changes are mostly cosmetic, so feel free to take a look at both and make a decision on which one you think looks better with your customizations. Something to keep in mind with these themes is that the block theme was created first, and there may be some variations in the customization options with it but you're able to switch back and forth between the two to see which one will look better without losing your changes. The next section I wanna talk about is templates. Your pro page comes with a set of templates to choose from to jumpstart your page design. You can choose one of these templates as a starting point, then further your customizations from there to get your page looking professional more quickly. You can swap between these at any time and click the reset template button to clear out your customizations if you make a mistake and want to return back to the default template. You also have the option to create and save multiple customized templates. If you've created a customized template that you like, but are thinking about making a change, you can save that template, then reset back to the default template and customize that one as well. If you decide to return back to the old template later, you can simply pull it up in the drop down menu and revert back to it at any time. You also have the option to buy layouts from any of our approved designers. They have layouts available for both round and block theme you can check out if you would rather have someone install a layout for you rather than create one yourself. The last section I want to point out in this video is your website logo. For your logo, you have the option to either type in text or upload an image. I recommend uploading an image and creating one if you haven't already. This is a great first step to establish your brand and will be one of the first things visitors of your site will see when they load up your pro page. So you'll want to spend some time designing this as you want to create a recognizable image to go along with your products. And that's about it for part one of our pro page customization videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on part two, where we're going to go more in depth on different sections of the pro page. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.